Hey everyone, last time we were here we were talking about low cost replacement cameras for cheaper DVRs. And today we're going to be talking about IR illuminators. So for those of you that don't know what an IR illuminator is, it looks like a camera, it's in a similar housing, but it's just a bank of infrared lights. And what it does is it can add extra infrared light to your night vision scenes for a camera that already has its own infrared. Or if you have a camera that can pick up infrared light but doesn't currently have any on board, like the really affordable um, Zmoto Pan Tilt Zoom camera that we're going to be testing with later on, then these are a good option because it adds uh, night vision capability to those kinds of cameras. So what we have here is we have three IR illuminators and just like our other video these are the very very affordable ones on Amazon so we're basically testing the lowest uh, lowest cost IR illuminators. Alright all three of these are 850 nanometer wavelengths and what does that mean to you? Well cameras pick up uh, wavelengths of infrared light and there's different wavelengths and basically the more sensitive the camera the higher nanometer wavelengths it can pick up. So you can see normally anywhere from 730 nanometers to uh, 940 nanometers and the 730 nanometers would be they would be the normal red that you see from a security camera the 850 nanometers that we have on these there uh, it greatly reduces that red that you can see with the visible eye which is ideal for having them mounted outside and it's not so apparent in the pitch black that you have security cameras mounted but it also takes a, a better sensor to pick those up and then 940 nanometers would appear totally black to the to the naked eye and that requires a very sensitive camera and it is it's important to note that all of these all say that they need a sharp CCD or a Sony CCD in your camera to work and some of them say they may compa be compatible with other cameras but since we bought all very affordable cost effective cameras it's going to be a crapshoot whether they have those uh, sensors or sensors that are sensitive enough to actually see the IR from these illuminators. So it's going to be interesting. I mean, we're going to go through the, the cameras that we went through in the last video and we'll test them on the Zmoto and the Video Sec U and, and the Evertech and see which ones uh, actually pick up this wavelength. I think the, the people writing the descriptions on Amazon are just trying to cover, cover their own butts when they do that because they don't want you to buy this and then see that it doesn't work with certain cameras and then you return it. So we're going to test that out. And not all of these cameras are always really specific. Some of them claim to have Sony CCDs, and it's just not true. So, first, we're going to start with uh, the CCTV IR illuminator right here. All right. So this one is the Crazy Cart 48 LED IR illuminator from Amazon. This is the most affordable. This one comes at a whopping price of $9.89. You can take a look right there. Uh, you can see the sensor, it only turns on in low light. At least that's how they're supposed to work. I've seen them definitely not work that way in the past. But um, this is $9.89. We're gonna have to see how it works. It, it's rated at a 20 meter range. As you can see, you got 48, uh, 48 LEDs. And yeah, that's the first one. That's the crazy cart. And of course, all these are, are rebadged and they come in very generic boxes. Okay, our next one is going to be the CM Vision IR30. And this one, we have two CM Visions here, and there's a reason they're actually quite different. This one's the IR30, and as you probably guessed, this one has 30 LEDs. The range of this one is rated at 50 feet or 15 millimeter. So it's rated at a little, little less distance, which would make sense since the Crazy Cart IR Illuminator had 48 LEDs. And this one is a whopping $12.49. And you can see it also has automatic on-off. Um, I think that's just assumed, but some of them took the time to list it in the description. Uh, they're, all, they're all pretty easy to mount. They're all pretty small form factor. But... So that's our number two. That's $12.49. And this is the most expensive one out of the three. This is the CM Vision IR3. Okay, so this one has three LEDs, and they're very large LEDs. This one claims to have a 50 to 100 foot, 15 to 25 meter uh, range. I don't know why the disparity between 
50 and 100 feet. Uh, this one's $15.49. I know, it's breaking the bank. And uh, it's the only one that listed an actual range and it said that, or an actual uh, angle, and it said 60 to 80 degree angle. So we're going to check it out. Why I picked this one up, even though it was by the same company, I was interested in the fact that it said it had a longer range, but when we tested out on our last video, the Evertech, if you remember right, the Evertech also had two large LEDs, and if you remember from that video, it had really good range. So I wanted to see, because these, you can see behind the, behind the glass there, the LEDs are, are similar in size. This isn't the whole size of the LED, there's one, in be, there's one behind that little lens. But, so I really wanted to see if this one would perform as well as the two on this camera, because this one really impressed me with the last uh, batch of cameras we tested. So if you have any questions about IR Illuminators, how they're powered, they're really easy. What you do is they have a normal, they have a normal barrel plug, and this fits any any one of your power adapters. And I can put links to power adapters if you want. What some people do, I'll put a picture up on screen. Um, in the picture, you see that that's just a normal Y connector. You can put the Y connector right by your camera wherever it's mounted and power your IR illuminator and your camera at the same time without doing an additional run. That's if your power supply has enough power to run it. You can have one of those power supplies that are split off eight different directions to eight different cameras. You might not have enough power to run IR illuminators. You might not even have enough power to run you know, eight different cameras that didn't come with the DVR that might be taking up a little more juice. So that's a, something to consider. Uh, you can also mount these if you want to mount these in a different place, like the pan tilt zoom camera that we're going to be testing later. I'm sorry, it's just pan tilt. It's at the corner of the house. It's quite high up. And you may want the IR illuminator down lower so that you can cast a, a brighter a brighter range onto the screen. So anyway, or I mean onto whatever the scene you're, you're videotaping, backyard, parking lot. Uh, so anyway, so you can also get just normal standalone power supplies that come with cameras. You can buy them off Amazon for little or nothing, six bucks, eight bucks, and those plug right in, and you're good to go. So those are the two basic ways that people normally power these things. Uh, the most convenient is definitely to not run more wires, especially if they're in inconvenient places, and just run them right off of your right, you know, split off your power cable and run right there. Always, always weatherize your connections the best you can. Use electrical tape, whatever you can, to make sure you have nice, solid, weatherproof connections. You don't get moisture in there, so they don't short out. So that's about it. We're gonna take all three of these out and test them. We're mainly gonna be testing them with the the pan tilt camera. If that one doesn't pick them up, pick any of them up then we'll have to go to plan B and we'll start testing other cameras and we'll show them there. If anything, I'm going to at least test them with this handful of cameras that I have here and I'll let you guys know so that you, you can feel safe if you're going to buy any one of these and you bought any of these from the last video or you were just looking on Amazon at any of these. At least now you'll know if they work with these because there's nobody out there that's going to tell you that. So anyway, let's get to it. I wanted to start off with a reference scene of, of full daylight for the Zimoto Pan Tilt camera just so you can see what it looks like in the day and what our scene looks like. Uh, as you can see, the colors are still muted, but that's because it is sensitive to IR light. It has no IR filter. Also for reference, here's the scene at night without any illumination. You can see a little bit of stray light bouncing off of the opposite side of the creek. But other than that, it's pitch black. First up, we have the Crazy Cart 48 LED. Uh, on the screen I have the 50, 78, and 100 feet marked off. That just happens to correspond with the terraces in my backyard. Um, I'm walking through the scene just so we have some sense of movement. It, quite frankly, was a little boring with nothing going on. Uh, you can really see how the IR illuminators act as a spotlight. And it's very pointed and it doesn't diffuse a lot. But this one, for being the lowest cost of all three of them, it really has an amazing range. It does, it does a great job of lighting up the backyard. Next up is the CM Vision IR30. It obviously has 30 IR LEDs, so it has 18 less than the Crazy Cart. And you can see that it does not have the range that the Crazy Cart had at all. It's a stark difference. It does do the job and it does light up the area, but it just doesn't have the range anywhere near the cheaper Crazy Cart. Finally, we have the CM Vision IR3. This one has the three larger IR LEDs, and as you can see, the range seems pretty good. We're gonna have to see it compared to the other two side by side to actually see if it beats out the Crazy Cart 48 LED. 
Uh, this one is about 50% more than the crazy cart. So uh, right now the performance doesn't look like it's worth it, but we're going to see them side by side. This is the part that I like the most, and that's seeing everything come together and be able to compare all three of them side by side. As you can see, the Crazy Cart 48 LED is the brightest, uh, at least to my eye, out of all three of our options. It's also the cheapest. Uh, when you're looking at uh, how the light diffuses out of it, it also it seems to light up the, the most area. So you can really see right now where I'm at the far end and I'm all the way down by the creek. You can really see how the range of the 48 LEDs uh, is just beating out everything else. So I guess in this situation, more is better. If you're in the market for IR Illuminators, I hope you found this video helpful, and I have links for everything in the description down below. And I also wanted to say that we tested them with all of the cameras from the previous videos, and all the cameras were able to pick up the light from these. So feel free to buy them without wondering if they're going to work. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.